Hello girlies, I'm back um, with my quick rant video. Okay, you guys know that April something, Mac came out with three collections like on the same day. It was all fine and good. I wasn't going to get anything because I did see um, like a preview of uh, basically the whole collection from Tentalia. I believe that's her name. And nothing really, really looked, looked interesting to me until I got on my Facebook makeup group. And people were raving about that purple heroin lipstick. And it's a matte purple, and it is so pretty. And purple is, like, my absolute favorite color. So I was like, okay, I, I might get it, I might not. I kept going back and forth. Thursday, I could have got up and went to the Mac store and bought it directly. But, like I said, I wasn't really interested until people started posting, posting swatches and pictures of them wearing the lipstick. And it's, like, absolutely gorgeous. So... Of course, when I went to go look for it, I called around Mac stores, about, I think, three different ones. They were all sold out. Um, of course, Mac Online, they were sold out. So I'm like, oh, dang, I missed out. So someone was like, um, go to Nordstrom's.com, and they still have them on their site. So it was four lipsticks in the Real Sexy collection, I believe. And they had two colors left, one which was heroin, and the other one I think is called Popcorn or something. It's like a sheer lilac color not really interested in that either so I placed an order and I paid for it so then someone said on Facebook I asked someone could they look in their area in a different state if they have it can they send it to me and I PayPal them um, she said they sold out but it was a store that was getting a second shipment and when when they get it she would let me know because she didn't want to tell me yes and they never received it so I was waiting on her to give me feedback for that. But I went ahead and placed my order with um, Nordstrom's.com. I actually bought two since it's limited edition or whatever. So throughout my wait for my order, um, someone posted on Facebook that um, Mac um, actually got a second, I guess, they, they put it back online, so they sold out the first time, and they bought it back again, all four lipsticks. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to worry about that because I have my order coming. And then what made matters worse, I kept checking to see when the lipsticks would sell out, and heroin, I believe, was the last color to sell out. So that was, like, an opportunity that I missed. So someone put on Facebook that they ordered from Nordstrom's, and when they got their box, it was empty. It had samples in it. I'm like, samples what is that about where is her product and the first person that said they put in their order she hadn't said anything so I figured hers was okay and the second girl something just happened with her um with her order and I said yeah I'm expecting mine and basically I don't want no samples I didn't get them sample money so they better not send me a box with samples I want my product in it and I'm not playing so I posted that comment that's basically what I said the next day, UPS knocks on my door and hands me my Notion box. So I posted on that meeting. I got my Notion box, and it better not be no samples in there. Okay. Um, so excited. Opened the box, and it was this brown wrapping paper. I think I just threw the paper away. And I, it felt light, but I'm like, it's two lipsticks. I mean, it's not going to be heavy. I unwrapped it. What do I have in my box? Nothing but these stank ass samples. I call and curse two people out at Nordstrom's. I don't play that. Why would you send me? I mean, and then, hold on. Let me make sure my information is on this. And then even on the order form, it even says it. Free beauty samples. I'm like, where the hell is my lipstick? I'm like, nah. That don't do. I want, I mean, I paid fourteen fifty times 2 plus tax. Because Nordstrom does do free shipping. That's fine and good. But some some funky ass samples. Like, I was so, I was like, I was heated. Because I was like, yes, my lipstick is on here. I don't, I mean, some shit I'm not even interested in. I'm sorry for my language, but y'all, that's my favorite color. And I don't really buy Mac. But it's just like, you know. What? So I talked to one lady. She was like, okay, I understand your problem. I'm going to transfer you to the makeup department. So I swear to goodness, y'all, it sounded like the same lady, but she disguised her voice. That pissed me off even more.
So she was like, oh, yeah, um, it's on back order. And uh, it was just like the voice was so phony. I know it was the same lady. And they sang with me. So basically she said, I should get my lipstick by the 24th. I said, okay, are you telling me this? Because this is a limited edition lipstick. I need to know if I'm going to ever get it. Because it's, it's sold out everywhere. So let me know now if I'm going to get it on that date that you're giving me. Or if I'm just not going to get it. Because I'm going to be extra pissed if y'all don't, if when that date comes, and then y'all tell me it's sold out and it's nothing y'all can do. Y'all didn't even send me no fucking courtesy email saying that we're sorry that um, it's on back order, but we're going to send your free samples. And please be patient with us, blah, blah, blah. You sent me an email off the break when you received my payment. You gave me a confirmation um, number and everything. So... I'm thinking everything is good. Where's the communication? That's what I'm mad at. Y'all took my money with no problem, but then when y'all don't come through with y'all end of the bargain, you can't even send me a courtesy email, a phone call. Y'all have my email and my phone number, my direct cell phone number. What? I mean, what the fuck, basically? So, I'm going to get them to the 24th. I'm going to get them. I'll get you to the 26th. Sorry about that. I'm going to be nice when I shouldn't be nice. But when that day comes, and I don't have no package, I'm going to go to my nearest Nordstrom and I'm going to curse them lie out in person. I'm not usually that type of person, but you're not going to play games with me. Be up front about yourself. That's bad business. I promise you guys, I will not order from Nordstrom anymore because one time it's enough to mess up with me. I don't play that. I work hard for my money and it's not even a point that it's makeup or whatever. It's limited edition. It was just bad customer service and the people were playing games even on the phone. They're going to send me another email, like, right after I talk to them, talking about, oh, your lipstick is on back order. Why didn't you send me that before you sent this big-ass, stupid-ass box with no uh, product in it with some fucking free samples? So, I don't know if y'all had this experience with um, Nordstrom's. Let me know if I'm overreacting or what, but that, that to me, that was just bad business. So, that's my rant. Hopefully I won't have any more because I'm just not that type of person. Just tell me what it is. I can't get mad if you don't have it, but I'm going to get mad if you keep telling me it's coming, we're going to get it, and then it never happens. So that's just it. I'm going to end my uh, videos for tonight with the rant, and I'm going to try to do um, a tutorial in the morning when I get ready for work. Um, I'm not sure what tutorial who I'm going to do, what I want to do in my tutorial. Better yet, I do that silver and gold look I talked about in one of my previous um, videos. So I'm going to catch y'all guys in the morning. Please have a good night and a good weekend. Bye.